After spending some time in items management, I'm sure you've noticed a few other icons and are probably wondering how to edit and even remove copies or title records. We will teach you all about that in this course. Let's start with the sorting icon. In the bottom left-hand corner of items management, you will notice an icon that looks like a piece of paper with the right-hand corner folded over. This allows you to sort your results in the above list. Just click on it and your sort by options will appear. Select the one that best suits you. To the right of the sorting icon is a magnifying glass. This allows you to perform a search. Searching will help you find records that you may want to modify or remove. Now let's move to the top of the items management window. To the right of the titles and copies tab, you will see a padlock. The padlock allows you to unlock the record to modify fields. After you've searched, click on the record you wish to modify on the right. You can now unlock the record for editing purposes. Last is the gear icon. The gear has different functions depending on if you're on the titles or copies tab. If you're on the titles tab, click on the gear. To keep it simple, let's just discuss removing a title record for now. In this menu, you will see remove title as an option. Take note, if you mean to remove the title, this will remove the title and all copies. So be very careful. Oftentimes your intention is to remove just a copy. To remove the copy, all you have to do is click on the copies tab. This will then show you all the copies associated with this title. Highlight the barcode on the left hand side. You can then click on the gear and select remove copy. This will complete that action. Click save and you're done. At this point, you should be able to quickly catalog your books and be ready to circulate. But before we do, in our next group of courses, we will discuss creating barcode labels and printing them out for your newly cataloged books.